Okay, Gaff TV, we're back and we've got Moses Odubadja with us, the Brentford winger, come full back as well. Moses, it'd be rude not to start with the West London derby coming up on Friday, absolutely massive game. You've had a taste of it in the 1-0 in the cup, what was the atmosphere like then? Oh, words can't describe the atmosphere of that game, man. Like, I couldn't even hear myself think, let alone hear what my teammates are saying to me. And before the game, I just thought like this, this could go two ways here. You know, we could either, we could either win or we could get hammered. And we lost, like, unfortunately, we lost one nil. You know, and it was it was a great performance from the team. It was in the cup as well. But the atmosphere was was delightful, man. And I'm looking forward to Friday. It was at home as well, of course, and, and this fixture as well is at home in the league. Is there an element of we want to put that right revenge, or is it you don't want to get caught up in the derby atmosphere too much? Do you really? Yeah, I, can't, I don't think we have to play the you know the occasion. You know, we just have to play what we're good, we're good at, and I think the the atmosphere is gonna gonna show for itself. You know, and the, the fans that they've been waiting for this for the whole season. You know, and. I just think that's it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. Brentford have, have been on a good run of form. Fulham have had a little resurgence of their own as well. Who are the danger men? Who's Mark Warburton citing out as the potential danger men for Fulham? Um, well, we've had a couple of meetings already about their team, and I think mainly the the front three are very very dangerous. Ex Premiership players, the likes of Roddy Lager, Brian Ruiz, and um, McCormack, who's just been brought in. So I think it's going to be tough handling them three up top. Like you said, the two teams haven't met for that long. Obviously, Fulham have been in the Prem, Brentford have come up from, from League One as well. There's a sense around this game, I feel, that the fans haven't met for so long. There's, there's a load of excitement around this game. Are you the underdogs? Um, I'd say on paper, we're, we're actually the underdogs, you know, coming coming up from League One and them coming down down from the top, you know, the, the big flat. And I think that it's all, it's, at the end of the day, it's all paper talk, you know. We've just come on the back of three, three wins against arguably two, two of the best sides in the division, you know. So it, it just shows that what we're capable of and we're looking forward to it. How important is it going to be, Moses, in that first sort of 15 minutes not to, as I said, get too caught up in the derby atmosphere, keep things tight? Is that what I'm saying, first 15 minutes, or are you going to come out and go straight at them? Um, I think the first 15 minutes is just going to be, the, the tempo is going to be a joke. Yeah. Uh, everyone's going to be out of breath for a, for a couple of seconds at least because everyone's going to want to going to get forward, you know, and I think the managers, both managers are going to encourage each team to press, you know, and win the ball high up to put the other on the back foot. So I just, I hope we come out on top for the first 15. Home advantage as well, how important is that going to be, playing in front of your home crowd? Oh, playing at home is always, always better, obviously, you know, especially in these games as we, we fill up most, most of the stadium and their fans are going to be behind the goal, but it's, it's still going to feel like it's a, it's a neutral game, you know, even though we're at home. I wish you the best of luck, mate. I'll be, I'll be rowing you on. Gaff TV will be, will be wishing you the best of luck. Cheers.